All right, everybody, welcome back to another Bee Mother review. And today we've got from Sume Art, this is Portgas the Ace. Now, this character hails from the anime One Piece. Uh, it's one of the longest running uh, anime series with over 800 episodes. Started back in the mid 90s or so. And uh, it's one consecutive series, too. It has not been rebooted or. Uh, restarted or any, in any way like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. It's just one piece, the whole thing. Uh, so it's a pretty daunting task to try and get into one piece now, especially for someone like me who's really just starting to get into the anime scene uh, later, a lot later in my life. So um, as I mentioned, um, you know, I'm still really, really new to anime. I don't know a lot about one piece, but when um, Sumi revealed this piece, a couple years ago, uh, it really caught my eye. I just thought, like, this looks awesome. And I, I'll admit, I did not buy it then. Uh, but the statue did come up for order again uh, towards the end of 2018. And I thought, you know what? We're doing statue awards. This is going to be a contender in those awards. I got to have this thing in front of my eyes to judge it for myself. Now, what can I tell you about this character, Ace? Um... Well, he's a badass, um, he is a pirate, and he has flame powers. He eats this devil fruit and it gives him the ability to create and control flame. So how bad could he possibly be, right? Uh, so this statue, I finally have it here. Um, and actually in those statue awards, it did pick up the best medium sized statue award for 2018. And then went on to finish th very respectable third place in the final statue of the year voting. So, does this statue deserve all those accolades? Well, we're going to get in the review. We're going to count down my three favorite things about this statue. And we'll find out right now. All right, so before we dive into the countdown here, I just want to point out the light up feature for this statue. Uh, there is an outlet at the back for an AC adapter. There is a little black button here, which I'll show you what that does in one second. And there's also an outlet for some speakers because there is a sound effect as well that's sort of sequenced with the lights. It's a very cool effect. You can see that whole sequence in the unboxing video I did for this statue. But all you do is just plug that AC adapter in and the lights start up right away. And now when you push that little black button back here, it just sort of changes the uh, sequence of the lights. Uh, there's one here where it's just on all the time if you like that as well. And if you hold the button down, it will shut them off just like that. So as cool as that feature is, it kind of leads into my number three on my countdown. And uh, it's the paint job because, you know, let's face it, light up features, as I said, very cool. But most of the time when you have these statues on display, you don't have that light up feature on. And with all these flames and things, you know, they really needed to go all out with this paint job to give it the effect that it needed. And that's of the, the light, the reflection of the flames. Uh, and they did an excellent job doing it. And I know for a fact that it was one of the toughest parts of this statue for them to achieve. Um, but they've got the, the flame reflection on the skin. You got it on the back of his head here, uh, you know, the lighter lighter areas of his hair to show this big fireball glowing down on him. Uh, you also see it on the wood, on the metal, the steel beams here. Excellent, excellent paint job. Um, and also a nice clean paint job. They got, uh, you know, the tattoos, the ace tattoo down his arm. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but he does have the white beard cross tattoo across his back. Uh, he's got the freckled face, the eyes the mouth, it all looks so nice and clean. The paint job on this statue absolutely stands out and that's why it's number three on my countdown. All right, moving on, number two on the countdown here and it's gotta be this giant fireball on top. Um, it just, it, I mean, it takes up a good chunk of the statue, probably like half of the statue. Uh, but it looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to echo a lot of the things I said in my review of Vegeta earlier. Um, uh, and, and this clear resin, the way that Sume does their clear resin, I think is some of the best that I've seen. It's so clear and clean. There's no cracks or bubbles 
or anything anywhere that I can find. It just looks so glass-like. Um, excellent job there. Uh, now I will point out with this fireball, you see the white beard cross in the center of the fireball there. You could take that out if you like. So it just you gotta be very careful as you take that out. And you can see here again, super crisp and clear uh, resin that they used here. Uh, the paint job here, it kind of goes from a lighter to a darker at the tips of the flames. Just looks so, so good. Now, you, you don't have to display it with this cross if you don't want to. It does come with this extra little plug, and I'll show you where that goes. I'll actually take this piece out. There's another piece in here. And uh, so you can see this here. Again, awesome amazing job on this clear resin. I love how they gave it this sort of darker smoky effect, but you can see where the plug goes, just drops into that right there. So you don't see that uh, slot where the cross goes. So you, if you don't want to display the cross, you don't have to, you can just put it back in like this. And uh, it still looks cool uh, without the cross because you get to see more of the swirl here at the back of the fireball, which is really, really cool as well. Either way, it's going to look awesome. Number two on my countdown, the clear resin and this awesome fireball at the top of the statue. Looks great. All right, so before we get into number one on my countdown, my favorite thing about this statue, I just want to warn you, I'm going to say a, little, a few spoilers about the series One Piece. Uh, it's been around a long time, so I think it's safe to do that, but just in case, you're warned right now. Now, number one on my list is definitely the design of this statue. Now, I gotta thank my friend Emmanuel and uh, also my friend Patrick for walking me through it a little bit because, as I said, I'm not super familiar with One Piece. I have watched clips of this character just to see how awesome he is. And what they've done is they've done this sort of mashup of the final arc of the character, which is the Marine Ford arc. And so Ace goes on this mission to battle uh, one of his enemies called Blackbeard. Now Blackbeard has this darkness power and of course Ace has his flaming power. So what you see at the back of the statue, this isn't smoke, this is actually the darkness power and the fireball power battling. It's, it's an epic scene from, this, from the series um, where Ace actually loses that battle and then he becomes captured um, and set for execution. And so he's set up on this sort of uh, set of scaffolding at this pier where he's going to be publicly executed by the world government. And, um, and his friends come to rescue him. Luffy, uh, his friend, comes and frees him. So that's why they have this chain here so to signify him being freed at this moment. And uh, you know the white beard cross and the flames comes from that scene when he's freed. He kind of has this uh, cut scene where he forms his cross out of his out of his fire powers. That's very very cool. So that's why they have that there. Uh, and then of course uh, you got Ace here, sort of in his final form on the show. And, and again, spoiler warning: this is sort of the final arc before he dies, saving his friends. Um, so very very cool mashup design here. I love what they've done. Uh, Sume really put a lot of thought into this and their whole art team gets involved and uh, they came up with I think the ultimate piece for this character. Um, it just so much story element here and uh, classic classic arc for the character. So my number one, my most favorite thing about this statue, the design. All right guys, we're going to wrap up this review now. Port Gas D Ace from the One Piece anime. This is made by Sume. And uh, as I mentioned at the top of the, this review, this statue won Best Medium Statue of 2018. And I think it's absolutely deserving of that title. It's absolutely one of the best statues that I saw from last year. Uh, you've got this amazing paint job. Uh, you know, it does have the light up feature and the sound effects and everything. And that's really awesome. But the statue has to um stand alone without that and they've really achieved that with this amazing paint job all the light reflections on his skin his hair all around him on the environment uh, really um, 
brings this scene to life. Um, so we got that amazing paint job. You have this amazing use of clear resin, just so crystal clear and glass-like. Uh, really, really nice job there. I love the swirling pattern at the back. Uh, you do have the cross in the middle that you can take out and display or not display as you choose. Uh, and then number one, you got this mashup design, uh, this whole sort of summary of the character's final arc in the series. And he's a fan favorite, so I think a lot of his fans are gonna resonate with this amazing design. So great job by the Sume team. And again, I think the statue definitely uh, earned uh, that award that it got. So Portgasti Ace from Sume. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, we'll definitely have more reviews coming. Uh, we've got some Sideshow, we've got some HMO, we're going to have some XM, we're going to have all kinds of stuff later this year. So stay tuned for that and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.